question. It says, love is large and incredibly patient. Love is gentle and consistently kind to all. It refuses to be jealous when blessings come to someone else. Love does not brag about one's achievement nor inflates its own importance. Love does not traffic in shame and disrespect, nor selfishly seeks its own honor. Love is not easily irritated or quick to take offense. Love joyfully celebrates honesty and finds no delight in what is wrong. Love is a safe place of shelter, for love never stops believing the best for another. Love never takes failure as a defeat, for it never gives up. Love never stops loving. Don, you are truly an answer to prayer. I never thought that I would find someone that I can love so naturally. Loving you is easy. Though I can assure you, I will love you through all the ups and downs that this marriage has to offer. Most importantly, I vow to keep Christ first and foremost. I believe that a marriage without Christ at the center is a recipe for disaster because he is the greatest guide, teacher, and counselor that there is. I vow to be patient with you throughout any disagreement, frustration, or any time that we're just flat out annoyed with one another. Even if it means standing at the register for 15 minutes demanding that they will indeed accept the coupon. <laughs> I vow to take care of you whenever you are old and decrepit, covered in wrinkles and gray hair, just as long as you feed me. <laughs> Dustin, I must say, five years ago when we first met, I would never in my wildest dreams expect to be where we are today, about to wed, about to say I do, clean and sober, and about to commit our lives to each other, but most importantly, in covenant with Christ at the core of our marriage. You are the sweetest, most genuine man I have ever met. You make me laugh and make me cry, but a cry that comes solely from the holy tears when counting my blessings during my morning coffee outside. From this moment forward, I vow to be in complete covenant with you. I vow that my love from this day forward is unselfish. It's no longer just me. It's me, you, and Christ that now makes me whole. I vow to honor you communicate with you to the best of my ability and to think before I speak during the unforeseen storms. Dustin Jeffrey, I vow to be loyal, not just as a wife, but as your partner, your best friend, and the tangible being on earth that lifts you up. And finally, I vow to always seek Christ first and pray with you quietly, with you together, and withstand the mountains, valleys, peaks, and sunshine life has to bring. I love you endlessly. You are my greatest blessing on earth. It is really my pleasure and my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. You don't need permission, but you may kiss your bride. You're my husband. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. Oh my goodness, baby. Oh my goodness. I love you. I love you so much, baby. My husband. <laughs> my wife.